It was a cold and dreary Friday afternoon. <laughs> I guess it's really Friday night. So where are we headed? Ivy Market Grill. And why do we choose Hy-Vee Market Grill for our restaurant review tonight? Well, I've been kind of wanting to go there, but I also need to get groceries, so. Two for one! We are back home after dinner and a little bit of grocery shopping. Again, we went to the Hy-Vee Market Grill tonight. And it was just convenient because we needed to go grocery shopping a little bit and pick up a few things and we had not been to that restaurant before. And I think we were both pleasantly surprised. I thought it was great, yeah. The people there were very nice. Um, Jason was- Eden. Jason's the manager, the manager? or at least, okay. the, at least the shift manager. Yeah, and then Evan mm -hmm. was our waitress, and they were both really helpful and friendly. So that was very nice, just going into the restaurant. Um, but the food was very good too. Um, tonight, we both selected something off of the seasonal menu. We've been talking- <laughs> we've got, oh my God. We've been talking a lot about uh, the Caribbean and sailing and getting back to blue water and white beaches. And so I think that got us both kind of thinking about seafood and stuff. So we actually both did seafood tonight. Yeah, but I do like seafood in general. So I got the, um, what's it called? The salmon salad. And I will say that based off of the, the description on the menu, when it came out, it wasn't what I expected, but it tasted great. So basically on the menu, it's described as salmon salad. So it comes with um, corn and bean salsa and then avocado. And so I was thinking it was gonna be kind of like a tuna salad. And they give you an option of serving it on a bun or a wrap. And so I went with the the bun instead. Sandwich um, mode. Yeah, but I was thinking that it was gonna be like tuna salad, but it ended up being um, a whole salmon filet with sliced avocados, and then they had some uh, baby spinach on it and then the um, corn and bean salsa, and then I just had a baked potato on the side because I really like baked potatoes. So anyhow, it wasn't what I expected, but it did taste really, really good. So I was pleasantly surprised in the end. And do you remember the cost of it? It was 13, no, $17. Yours was 13, right? No, the opposite. Opposite, mine was 13. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it was, yeah, it wasn't that bad, I guess. And I got the Baja fish tacos, which were $17, and they were delicious. It was a, I don't know how to pronounce it, but a barramundi or a barramundi fish. We looked it up and it, supposedly it's more healthy than salmon, or at least as healthy as salmon. It's so an Asian, cool. 
Asian bass fish. Yeah. And so three tacos and it had like a honey sriracha and um, like a, a cabbage in it. What, what mango kind of, salsa. And mango salsa. And the fish were, it was in chunks and it was had like a light breading, but just on part of it, and it was a little a little bit blackened. I'm usually not a fan of blackened, so but I really liked it. This was just a little bit, and so it added a little bit of crunchy to it. I mean, it was really good. It came with a side of uh, chips and salsa, and for me, like that was the thing about the meal that was a little lacking. The chips um, are a little bland, and the salsa didn't have a lot of flavor to it. But the fish tacos made up for the lack of flavor in that. And we were having a conversation with the manager, Jason, and letting him know it was our first time there, and we really like it, we'd be back. And what'd he do? He got us a dessert. dessert so I thought that that was very yeah. very nice so Jason if you're watching hey thanks so much uh, for the dessert cheesecake <laughs> factory cake <laughs> yeah so they're doing uh, desserts by the uh, cheesecake factory right now so that's pretty cool and they have like an evening coming up soon with four hands brewery where I think I think it's a Friday night in April and uh, they're gonna be having a bunch of different of the four hands beers and a special menu that night that goes along with the beers somehow. So if you're into that, go check them out. And uh, yeah, anything else? Um, screens were up everywhere and they were playing the game. And so I think for some people that like to just go and hang out at the bar and maybe watch, catch a game or something like that, um, it's very nice. So there were a lot of people hanging out at the bar, just, you know, some guys hanging out watching the game, some younger guys, so. But, um, but other than that, I mean, the atmosphere was really nice. It was, I mean, I guess nice and up to date and modern and comfortable. Mm -hmm. We yeah. just had a new seat, so yeah, it was very nice. Well, that's all we have for tonight. So thanks for joining us on another episode of the Matlax Eat Out. <laughs> yeah. And remember guys, be the light and go out into your world and make a difference. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Me, 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 me